Hey guys, Caleb for one here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to save Audacity files as MP3s so you can put them on your iPod, your MP3 player, etc. So first off, you're going to want to open up your internet browser and go to Google or whatever you search and type in Audacity. After a couple things you'll see Audacity, but hit the second one right underneath it. And click the, you're going to want to click the second one, or it's better for me because it takes you right here. And you're going to want to download, and you're going to want to download this. So you can either take the beta, which has a couple more, which has some different uh, things, or like I use, I use the stable version, so Windows. And hopefully if you're watching this video, you already have Audacity, so just skip through part of it. Now comes the important part. Under plugins and libraries, you're going to, you're going to see something that says encoder lame mp3. For some reason, like most of the site is in a different language, or at least the headings are. And yeah, most of the headings are in other languages. So you're going to want to hit in the encoder thing, and then you're going to want to take it to the download page. And just download that. Now, when you downloaded Audacity, you should have downloaded it to my computer, so open up your local disk, program files, Audacity, and you're going to want to save the lame encoder underneath your Audacity folder. When you get the, uh, when you go to your Audacity folder, you will see a zip folder, and you must unzip it. Or, I'm trying to think, I think the one I downloaded was a zip folder, but for some people it's not. And then you just open it up, and that's it. So then you're going to just go back and go to Audacity and import some audio, doesn't matter what. I have a lot of songs, I edit a lot of my songs. So, um, you have a little bad day I'm working on it right now, just trying to edit it, make it sound better. You're just going to open up your audio. One moment. And, um, actually, Really, for people who like making their own music, you can go to this place called findsounds.com. I'll put a link over in the bar, and you can um, choose where, and you can like find your, you can find sounds, and then you can put them together in songs, that's what I do sometimes. So after you've made all your edits, or just for people who don't know how to edit anything, you're going to want to highlight whatever portion of it that you want. I usually highlight the whole thing. Go to your effect, and you have this whole line of them. And when you're done, you're just going to go to File, scroll down until you see Export at, export as MP3, and you're going to click it, and then you're going to save it as whatever you want it to be. So it's really nice to save, uh, to be able to make your own music, which is why I use Audacity. It's, it's a free program, so you don't have to pay money for it, and um, it's, it's pretty, it's really good at editing. So I hope you guys like this video. Any comments or questions, just leave them on my profile page or you can comment on this video. Comment, rate, subscribe, the usual. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.